Today marks a significant moment in our journey back to full vehicle production for our people, suppliers, customers and retailers as we begin the control phase restart of our operations. Starting with our Wolverhampton plant where we make engines for our luxury vehicles, vehicle manufacturing in Nitra, Slovakia and our battery assembly center in the West Midlands. Colleagues will also begin to return today to our stamping operations in Castle Bromwich and Heiligut, closely followed by a restart of Range Rover production lines in Solihull this Thursday. Wolverhampton is one of the first sites to restart production because it's where we build all of the engines for GLR's vehicles ahead of vehicle production taking place. Today, we've welcomed back 1,000 employees to Wolverhampton and there is a strong sense of unity and momentum as we get back to doing what we do best, building quality luxury vehicles for our customers. Jaguar Land Rover's Electric Propulsion Manufacturing Center in Wolverhampton has resumed operations this week after nearly six weeks of complete shutdown. The pause followed a sophisticated cyber attack that disrupted production across the company's United Kingdom facilities. The Wolverhampton site responsible for building the Ingenium engines and new electric drive units is back online and gradually returning to normal activity. Originally an engine plant, this facility is now a cornerstone of Jaguar Land Rover's transformation plan called Reimagine. The company has retooled the site to produce both internal combustion engines and electric powertrains, offering the flexibility to adapt as the brand moves toward full electrification. The return of this plant marks a critical milestone in restoring production flow and regaining operational stability. Workers are now returning to lines equipped with updated electric manufacturing systems, modern tools, and refined processes designed for higher precision. The cyber attack, first identified in late August, forced Jaguar Land Rover to temporarily halt operations across several UK plants. It took weeks for the company's teams to assess the breach, contain the damage, and rebuild a secure information technology network. The downtime tested resilience across every level of the company. Many employees and suppliers described the period as challenging, yet it also became an opportunity to refine safety protocols, strengthen digital defenses, and renew communication between departments. Support from the United Kingdom government combined with accelerated payments to suppliers, helped stabilize the situation and minimize disruptions across the broader automotive ecosystem. The decision to implement faster payments ensured that smaller suppliers could maintain cash flow during the recovery. Production is now being restored in phases with the Wolverhampton plant gradually increasing output while maintaining a close focus on quality and cybersecurity standards.